Hello everyone. I pray you are doing well. I pray that you are doing good. I pray that you are blessed and very healthy. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. I believe a lot of problems are good and you may say Kevin what is your problem what are you talking about are you insane I am not insane I am not but I believe but I believe a lot of problems are good in my personal life And I believe I have expressed in some videos, maybe I have not posted them yet. Maybe there were some I did, I forget. But I have been going through, it is a bit less now, but I have been going through quite a bit of demonic attacks. And I think because of the trouble, it is teaching me more on how to be more patient, how to be more meek, like how to make myself, I guess I can say, more small, like, make myself less of me if that makes any sense so in a sense either all or much of my problems it is making me more spiritual i guess i can say can't really find a nice word to express it. I mean, like uh, another word for it. Who likes to go through problems? I don't, but we need to become more like Jesus Christ. We do, yes we do. So I think one of the ways maybe not the only way, I don't know, but I think one of the ways to get us better is to put us in the fire, figuratively speaking. Put us through problems, put us through, can I say, bad circumstances. But even though problems come my way, it's like God is always there to make things better. So I may go through problems, but God makes them better, if that makes any sense. What do I have to do? I have to seek after God, as in, you know, I may have to fast, pray, read the Bible, seek after God, and try to do what is right, and I believe God is going to fix the rest. So how can you really beat that? I don't think we can live, please listen to what I am saying. I don't think we can live in this world without trouble. So if we can't live in this world without trouble, we need to find out how to act how to speak, how to behave ourselves while we are in trouble. Please listen to what I am saying. This is spiritual maturity here. You can say you love God all day long. You can make promises to God all day long, which I believe it is not good to promise but let your yay be yay and let your nay be nay. But I believe you can 
say god i will do this i will do that but <laughs> i believe once you go through trouble we are going to see i believe you are going to see if what you said is really true i hope this makes sense don't see trouble as bad all the time I don't think trouble is bad all the time. Bad things may happen, but if you go through it the right way, I believe good can come out of it. For instance, some years back, I was in trouble. And I thought that <laughs> really bad things were going to happen or more bad things, I guess I can say. But I prayed, I fasted, and through that bad situation, my Lord, so many good things came out of it. How can it be you go through something bad, but good things come out of it? That is what happened to me. I am telling you, so many good things came out of it. Amazing. A blessing. So I think some problems, maybe I said many earlier, but let me say it. Let me say some. I believe some problems are not bad. Now, you can make a problem worse, but if you go through it right, I think so many blessings can come out of a problem. I believe nothing happens by chance. As in, some people may think some things are coincidental. No way. I think everything that happens, happens for a reason. You have to find out, if you can, why is this happening to me? what is going on and what i see within my personal life i believe god is trying to make me more meek make me more humble and make me more patient and more long suffering so i believe long suffering meekness humility what else did i say <laughs> patience more patient i believe god is trying to increase me in those areas so i believe i have been placed in the fire which is not bad it is not bad you may cry you may get hurt you may feel very bad but hold on to what you know of the bible and do it learn to be stable in christ while you are going through problems don't fall away from God when problems happen and stick to God when he give you blessings. How about you stick to God also when you have problems, not only when God is blessing you. Don't be an unstable Christian. Because I believe we show you know, I think some people say they love God, they love God, they love God. But I believe the way we show God we love him is through our obedience, right? I think so. Is there a scripture on that? I think so. I hope I am not mistaken. So I pray all of this makes sense. Sometimes, how can I say this? In some cases, stop running away from trouble, but go through it in the right way. Am I saying, am I telling you not to pray? I am not saying that. Am I telling you not to fast? I am not saying that. What I am saying, I believe some problems are not bad. Some problems you have to go through, I believe, to become better. So, 
don't be overwhelmed by your feelings and feel like you have to quit because I am going through too much. This is too much problems. I did not sign up for this. Listen now. I believe we all have to mature more in Christ. Where you are at, where I am at, I believe we can get higher in Christ. So why not? Why stay on a very small and simple level being a baby in Christ? I don't want to be a baby in Christ. I do not. I want to grow. I want to be able to affect others. I believe God uses people to minister to others. So I want to be able to affect others. Which I believe is it is the Father that brings people to Christ, if I am stating that right. But I believe in, was it Proverbs? I forget, but I think there is a scripture that says the one who wins souls is wise. So I want to win souls. And I don't know if I can win too many souls if I stay very immature in Christ. If I stay a baby in Christ, I want to, if I plan on going to heaven and I know I am not going to be on this earth for a very long time, let me be, let me take my focus more on the things of Christ more than the things of this world. Let me place my focus differently. As of now, I don't really care too much about this world. I really don't. I really don't. I hope the world ends soon, honestly. I want to go to heaven. Hopefully, I can get into heaven. I hope, I pray. I pray I can because the way this world is, is very cursed. Very cursed. So much corruption and evil, abortions and all that mess there. I want this world to end, but at the same time, I believe God wants more people to be saved. So I believe he expects us to go out there and I guess in one way or another, minister to people about Christ so that they can come so that they can give their lives to God. That's what I believe. Let me stop here. May God bless you.